Hey, what is up everyone? So, although the developer beta for iOS 13 has been out for a little over a month now, it still blows my mind that there's still more new changes being integrated and new discovery being discovered day by day. So these are 10 more changes and new features that went under the radar. In number one, in the weather app, if it's a stormy day, there's a new thunderstorm animation. It looks really fantastic. Only thing missing from this animation is now sound effects if you have your phone not on silent. That would have been cool. The second new integration has to do with the new volume hub. Besides just being able to quickly adjust it with your finger whenever you bring up the volume. But I have discovered that whenever you take a screenshot, the volume HUD immediately goes away. Number three, the Amber Alert has been redesigned and it has a new icon. Now it's definitely more noticeable than it ever been because seeing this icon compared to the previous one, this one you could easily identify what it is since it's now in bright yellow. This fourth one is a new feature that got integrated on the iPhone Apple Maps, the Apple Watch, and even more useful on the Apple CarPlay. When you're using the Apple Maps and you placed in a destination you want to drive towards, it will now display stop lights and stop signs at intersections. I find this small change extremely helpful, especially when you're driving on unfamiliar territory roads, because Siri will actually use that as a landmark and help guide you to your destination. Like Siri will actually say, the traffic lights turn right onto North Livermore Avenue instead of giving you the default road name and some of these roads don't even have roads street names on them this is like having a real person giving you directions for number five this is another feature that went under the radar but Spotify now has support to send messages and will give you a music preview now what I've discovered this only works with iOS users because we sent this message to a friend who was on an Android phone and he wasn't able to preview the video, the audio I mean. But when you send those share links to other Apple devices, they're able to quickly listen to it without leaving the messenger application. Now the sixth one, it's a few new features when scanning documents on notes for example. When you're scanning a document like this business card for example, if you have the right angle, you don't even have to press on the shutter button to take the photo. It will automatically scan as soon as the watch is 100% sure, it's certain that everything is lined up. And you can also use larger letters as well. It's kind of tough for me to demonstrate having this camera right in front of me, but as you can see, if we get the right distance with the perfect lighting, the scanner will automatically take the shot hands free. And not only that, if you take a second or so, if you go back to that scan document, it's going to also add in text if you leave it blank. Like this was just a random ad I found in my mailbox from Chase and it's already auto filled the text for me so I could easily search it up if I ever need to. Number seven is another very useful thing that Siri can do now. If there's like an upcoming holiday or let's say daylight savings is about to come up, if you have Siri suggestions enabled, she'll not only let you know ahead of time, letting you know that daylight savings happening or like what this Redditor has found out that Siri actually notified him and adjusted everything accordingly for he doesn't wake up late or anything like that on his schedule. This is really cool and uh, allows you to actually not wake up all confused on why everything is like an hour late or why is there no classes and such. And if you connect like a pair of Beats headphones or even AirPods that you commonly use to listen to your favorite playlist or a certain song you've been listening to for quite a while now, Siri suggestions will automatically suggest if you would like to play that song or that playlist that you were listening to, freeing you the time and hassle from actually opening up your phone, going to the music app and select the playlist that you normally find yourself listening to. Series suggestions, it'll do all that for you automatically. I had a hard time replicating this, but these are some screenshots that people shared and their stories on Reddit and I thought it was really cool to share with you guys too. For number eight, now whenever you get water inside the connection port, and you begin charging your device. I remember back then, whenever you plug it in in this kind of situation, maybe you got out of the shower and there's a little, if liquid got inside, instead of getting the cannot charge or this cable doesn't support charging, 
With iOS 13, the phone is smart enough to detect if actually water got in the port and it will actually give you a notification explaining to you why it's not charging. Number 9 has to do with the new reminder. So the new reminder not only got overhauled, like entirely redesigned, but now we can actually move tasks from one task folder to the other by simply tapping on him and holding it like so and then click and drag it to, let's put it on this one and you can see the little plus, let go. And it didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, beta people, beta, work with me. <laughs> so normally what would happen when you select them like so, and you go to, the, let's put in a test, drop them in here. It's not updating. Great. I swear it was working not that long ago. But yeah, originally how it worked last time when I tried this, I was doing this. Yeah, it doesn't even let me do it that way either. If we go back, put it in here, and you drop it here, it was supposed to look... Yeah, it crashed. So yeah, take my word for it. When this gets fixed, this was a new integration. So you could move tasks from one task to the other without having to delete them. Lastly, the 10th new change on our list. This one by far is probably my most favorite. It's the new feature that we have in the downtime. When you have time limit enabled and your time limit has ended and it's time for you to call it a day, we now finally have an option to actually resume for at least one more minute to complete whatever task we were working on. So if you're trying to be consistent and gain a better good night's rest, we are no longer stuck with just a 15 minute option, which gives you a little bit too much time when all you really needed was just an extra minute to finish whatever you were trying to do. Now I know I said 10, but this is kind of like an added bonus, but a part of now being able to, listening to listen to your music, but also Check out the lyrics while the music is playing when you tap this little icon on the bottom. But I have noticed, I don't know if this is new, but I just now noticed that whenever you do this, the background follows the rhythm of the song. So on certain genre songs, it gets flashy. And on talkative, lyric rich songs, it goes by a smooth motion. I wish it was a setting that allows it to be more flashy, kind of like a club or something like it follows the EQ to the decibel. That would be really cool. And I think it's a nice added touch to make the music seem like it's definitely going into the rhythm of the lyrics. But uh, anyway, folks, that's it for this video. Just wanted to share with you guys 10 new changes that I found that nobody else is talking about, or maybe it's just new changes that just went underneath everybody else's nose. So which one of these new changes and features were you already aware of or weren't aware of? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you have a feature that wasn't mentioned in this video and you feel like it should have been on the list, feel free to also comment down down below. Let us all know. Well, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you actually leave a like. Truly appreciate those. Get subscribed if you want to see more videos like this. But as always, take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.